Artist trading cards, or ATCs, are tiny handmade works of art that can be swapped and collected. You can mix and match mediums, experiment with new techniques, and trade your work with artists across the globe. Follow along as I create two cards and give tips for beginners. This tutorial was sponsored by graphicsarts.com and sakuraofamerica.com. The first thing you need to know is that the standard size for an ATC is 2.5 by 3.5 inches. The majority of online swaps require that the card be this exact size. You will need to have a sturdy material for your base, such as chipboard or craft plastic. I'm using graphics chipboard because it's acid free, so my artwork will last for a long time. My ATCs will be collaged. I recommend Mod Podge for collages because it can seal the papers front and back. Spread a thin layer of Mod Podge on the chipboard with a paintbrush. Smooth the paper on top. I'm using a page torn from an old book. Trim off the excess paper. You can add color with acrylic paint. Mix in a bit of water to achieve the level of transparency you want. I like to use a lot of layers in my collages and using different forms of media keeps it interesting. Duralar Matte Film is a good choice because it can accept many types of media such as paint, pencil, and markers. It's semi-translucent so it will give my image a ghost-like effect. I'm brushing the Duralar with copper acrylic paint. Once it's dry, I can write directly on top of the paint with a pen touch silver pen. A touch of metallic gives the card shimmer and the illusion of dimension. When using the pen touch for the first time, shake it then hold the pen upright and press on the tip to release any air. Then press the tip down on a piece of scrap paper until the ink begins to flow. Rub-ons are great for collages because they can overlap various layers and can be applied to many surfaces. When making ATCs, it's really fun to make your own personalized rub-ons. You can turn your name or even your own photo into a rub-on with Graphics Rub-Ons Transfer Film. To use the film, change your printer settings to photo paper. If you're printing text, you must print it in reverse. Usually, this is found in your printer settings under Mirror Image or Flip Horizontally. You'll need to print on the matte, non-shiny side of the film. The package also includes sticky sheets with a white paper backing. Remove the backing from one sheet and carefully smooth the sticky side on top of the matte film you just printed on. You are rubbing it directly onto the images you printed. Smooth out any air bumps with your finger, then use a stick to burnish the images. Rub them thoroughly to make the image adhere to the sticky film. Then cut out the image, trimming closely. Peel off the clear film and place on your card surface. Rub once more to transfer, then peel off the matte film. Now that I've turned my photo into a rub-on, I'm going to alter it a bit by giving it a pair of butterfly wings. I already had these glittery rub-ons in my stash. Next I can add my photo on top. Apply a thin layer of Mod Podge to the Duralar and adhere. I feel like my card could use more texture, so I'm adding a dab of Liquitex modeling paste at the bottom. While that dries, I'll embellish a little bit with the silver pen touch. It shows up very well on dark surfaces. I added another rub-ons on top of the modeling paste once it dried. I put a touch of aqua glitter on every ATC I make. Then I'll color the edges of my card with the pen touch to give it some shine. It's a good idea to seal your card with a light coat of Mod Podge. Finally, I'm adding a couple of tiny rhinestones for extra sparkle. Now I'll create a second ATC. Every ATC you make should be different. This time I'm using Graphics White Chipboard as my base because it will make my colors pop. I'm using Sakura's Jelly Roll Classic Pen in white to write a quote on my card. Next, I'll paint the card using Koi watercolors. 
This kit comes with a handy water brush that's perfect for blending. As I paint, the white writing will show through. I'm adding some rub-ons I printed earlier. I'm also using a clock and wing overlay by Heidi Swap because I had it on hand. But you could also easily make your own using printable transparency film. I'm adding some shimmer to the clock with the silver pen touch. A brad in the center of this Tim Holtz metal clock will reinforce the theme of my card. I'm applying it with thin pop dot squares so it has more dimension. This rub-on's clock could use a bit of sparkle as well, so I'm coloring it with the Jelly Roll Stardust pen. And of course, I have to use my signature sprinkle of aqua glitter. So now that you know how to make artist trading cards, what can you do with them? I recommend visiting the website atcsforall.com, a beginner-friendly site for swapping these miniature works of art. This tutorial was sponsored by sakuraofamerica.com and graphicsarts.com. For hundreds more tutorials, please visit my website, madebymarzipan.com.